Bill Maher mocks middle class America. Bidenomics is wonderful. April Fools. Hello, this is Chart GPT today. Yeah, there was a recent thing on Bill, from Bill Maher basically touting the wonderful things that Joe Biden has done for the economy and how Americans are just complaining and whining and deranged, I guess, enamored by uh, politics of some type. Anyway, he goes on into his little rant here. Let's take a quick listen, slightly edited. Why are Biden's approval ratings so low when things are generally pretty good? Now, of course, there are problems. America's a big place, but wages are rising. Unemployment is negligible. The stock market is soaring. We somehow brushed off both the Trump presidency and the pandemic. Yes, inflation persists for a lot of things, but, you know, an actual good, nice-sized TV now costs 60 bucks. Who gets credit for that? We've got next-day shipping, stuffed crust pizza, legal weed, GPS, and porn on the phone. <laughs> Cheer the fuck up. So there you go. Is he right? Well, I guess maybe about the porn and the... Uh I'm not sure about that TV. Can you get a TV for $60? $60? I'm not so sure. Uh, maybe a small one or a used one or something in, in the junkyard. any case, it is what it is. So let's take a quick look at, at whether he's telling us the truth here. Here's the breakdown of current equity ownership. The bottom, uh, 90, 50 to 90% have less than 15% of stock. So having the stock market go up is only good for him and nobody else, really, unless you're in the, in the top, uh, let's call it the top 10%, maybe. And then you can see here, here's a kind of the inflation adjusted household economic ownership by bracket. And the bottom 50% doesn't even show up on the chart. <laughs> so I don't know why he's talking about the stock market there. I mean, most people don't really care. I suppose if they care, if it's, just, it's more of a, a, a temperature gauge about how the economy is doing, I suppose. Here, as you can see, in terms of income, you can see the, the blue line here is the key line for the bottom 80%. That's 80%. It's just declining and declining and declining, and of course his income is going up, up, up. So he would say that, he wouldn't he? And then we go into the median disposal income versus the cost of living. And the, the key here is, you can see the black line, which is the cost of living adjusted for inflation, and the median disposal income for the bottom 80%, and that gap is widening. So it's real out there, the inflation, and it's getting worse, it's not getting better, so it needs to be said. All this being said, this isn't the real issue coming forward here that we're all going to feel, maybe even Bill Maher, and that is the Mimsky moment is coming. It's the idea that we have this extended credit, 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 and then pretty soon the credit outstrips your ability to make a payment, and we crash. Now, where are we at on this curve? It's hard to tell, but we're getting closer to that Mimsky moment where people pull the rug out from under the economy and its curtains. We'll see if that happens here very soon. But here's what ha here's the effects of it. And this is the effect of the inflation that's coming. You know, people say, "Oh, inflation is over." Well, no, it's not. We've hidden it through higher interest rates. And of course, the effects of that, as you can see, the the blue line is the projected, assuming rates stay stable, and that they don't raise rates. And the yellow line projecting if we assume a 150 basis point Fed cut, and nobody's predicting that. So 1.6 trillion in in deficit uh, interest charges alone. Now, what does that mean to the economy? Well, here's the here's the current outlay of the federal budget. The net interest for 2024 is scheduled to be around 789 billion, and yet they're talking 1.6. It's almost more than double. Of course, that's even more, almost more than Social Security, almost than any. It's to be the biggest budget item out of, out of the 6.9 trillion. So this isn't going to happen. Either the Fed's going to have to drop rates, which what means what? Inflation is coming back. So the inflation story is not over. It's just that they've hidden it for the short term, and they're playing this political game until the to the election, so just be aware of that. So no, Bill Maher, things are not as rosy as you think. Maybe for you they are, but for the American, average American person, things are getting worse and getting dimmer until that Mimsky moment arrives. Check out the post link in the description box and a little bit more from the AI and tells you a little bit more about what the Mimsky moment is and what brings it on. And g give us your take on a poll. Is the Mimsky moment imminent? Is that gonna crash soon or do we have time? In any case, don't forget to subscribe.